today I'm here with my second free looks one palette and today we're going to use the Soul Blooming from Nabla and I'm going to talk a little bit about the palette now I'm going to show you the free looks and then I'm going to do a little mini review in the end so I leave the times down in my descriptions my descriptions in my description box in the description box if you don't want to see all the looks if you just want to hear a little review or if you just want to hear this introduction to the palette so this is the soul blooming from Nabla this was their second palette this is cruelty free and vegan everything from Nabla is cruelty free and most of their things are vegan it always says on the box on all their products if it's cruelty free and vegan or if it's just cruelty free but this is both so this is an eyeshadow palette with 12 colors it looks like this I bought this when it first came out I think I bought it from Nabla's own website yeah, I can write the prices I think this came in the beginning of this summer if I'm not mistaken, and I like the format of this palette. I think it's the packaging is nice. It's a cardboard box which I love. Uh, it got magnets. It got a mirror. So this is very compact palette with 12 shades, cruelty free, vegan, and yes, uh, we just hop into the looks, and I hope you like them. So for my first look with soul, soul blooming, I have such troubles to say soul blooming from Nabla I will do a pink look and I don't know if I only want to use two colors I want to use this bolero shade and this climbing rose I will see if I maybe take this philosophy and those do something with that but these are the two colors I mainly want to work with and I don't remember if these glitter shades can be used without any glitter glue I don't remember so I have primed my eyes and I will test out to just work with a normal eyeshadow primer so I will take this bolero and I will take it with a fluffy brush and put it in my crease and I want to put it pretty high up and all the way in and this bolero is one of my favorite shades from this palette I think it's such a nice color now I have a cat hair here I think this is such a nice color I think it suits me pretty good And it's super easy to work with. And then I will go in with a climbing rose and put it on my outer corner of the lid. And I don't remember how this is, if this is able to just stick. And eyeshadow primer but it is it's sticking on pretty good and I also take it up a little bit in my crease and this is a really blendable shadow even though it's a shimmer and that I like and this go super good with the blear shade okay and I think I have changed my mind I will take this philosophy and put it on my inner corner and this one I am not sure that it's going to happen so much without any clear glue but we will try it does happen things without the clear glue with this one 
and this shadow is so nice it's very duochrome and it's a little blue and I think I maybe I think this works better with some color underneath and now I have so much I have like glitters down here I think I should have taken a color underneath it because it looks a little bit better up here when I had the bolero when where I had the bolero but I think this works as well and I'm just tapping this on I think that works better and I'm blending it into the pink a little and something like that and something like that I think I'm satisfied with the lids like this so I will take out the fallout I will fix my base and then I will be back and I think I will do the same underneath my eyes that I did on the lids or maybe if I take the bolero underneath my eyes and then put this philosopher this one in my inner corner we will see I will fix this and I will come back so the face is on and I can really recommend you if you're going to use like this philosophy don't do your base first I had glitter too down like here and uh, it was hard to get off so yeah uh, I'm going to do my under eyes and I will take this bolero that one color I had in my crease and I will use a new brush I have bought my first Sigma brush. I bought this from Beauty Bay when... I think they still have it. I don't know if they still have it when this video comes up. They had a bargain sale for like three weeks or something. And uh, this was so much cheaper than it used to be. So I bought this. So I will try this. I don't know if this is too big for underneath my eyes. We will try. So I will take the bolero as I already said. And put this underneath my eyes. So this is a little bit lighter than the climbing rose I have on my eyelids. But I think this works. So I will just do the other eye. So this was the first look with the soul, soul blooming from Nabla. And I really like this look. So this is the pink look uh, I am going to do two different colors in the next two looks so this is the first look and it's the pink look and I used bolero climbing rose and philosophy so this is lucky num luck look number one so it's time for look number two with my soul blooming from Nabla and today we now we are going to do today yeah I not film all the three looks in the same day you maybe see that because I don't have the same clothes okay uh, today we are doing a brown look um, and we are going to start off I think I know what I will do so I will start off with this middle karma and I will take it in my crease and the Nabla they have a liquid lipstick that's also named middle karma and I expected it that it is the same color I do not have that color so I will take this in my whole crease and this color I I really love this I think Nabla is really good with neutral colors especially it's so creamy and easy to blend as you can see and this is my second free looks one palette and I don't know how you want them if you want them to be long or not I don't know how long this video is going to be because I am not finished with it of course but I am trying to 
do like I do not want to do voiceovers because I don't have a microphone or anything and I hate the sound of my own voice especially when I speak English so editing for me is not <laughs> my super favorite thing but as long as I'm not doing a voiceover it's okay and I don't know how you want this if you want just music or if you want me to talk a little bit but you seem to like my first free looks one palette and I am so glad for that because it takes a lot of time to do this um, especially for me because I work <laughs> all week okay so this is the middle karma and this color is amazing and I want to make this look pretty dark uh, so I will take this Carvaggio Carvaggio Caravaggio if it's one language I don't speak it's Italian okay I only speak Swedish and English but I understand some other languages but Italian is not one of them I take this Caravaggio I follow Mr. Daniel I think his name is it's I think it's the creator director from Nabla or something like that and he is Italian and I follow him on Instagram and he is only speaking Italian and I think he would like to would like would like would say like Caravaggio I don't know okay I just stop trying to speak Italian and fix this so I'm going to take this Caravaggio on my outer corner this color is so good and you see it's like full opacity at once and it's so easy to blend out and I'm blending it up on my crease and just in a little bit so I don't have it a harsh line or anything and this color is amazing this Nabla is really good at doing the matte collection I think there is one of the best things Nabla has done but now we are talking about the soul blooming I will shut up about anything else from Nabla and as you can see this is so easy it's already done so this is the Caravaggio, Caravaggio. and now I will take the shimmery brown that is named Gerson and that I know maybe but it's French as well Gerson I actually okay now we're taking this and I am not taking any glitter glue because Nabla's shadows usually fix it on their own and this do it you I have actually tried to learn French now I'm speaking of French and now the, this is not makeup related at all when you go to school in Sweden um, I think in my school it was when we were eight years old you start to learn English um, because we in Sweden I think we are one of the top countries in the world that speak English and not have it as our language it's our first language and now I think I've taken this too far in we just have to live with it I think I will try to fix it um, so we learn English from that we are small and we also have if a TV show is on English we watch it on English Sweden with subtitles and not many countries do that and then when I was like 12 we had the opportunity <laughs> to learn one more language and in my school it was either Germany or French and I chose French and uh, I read it for like four years and I speak like zero from France I can't uh, say like je m'appelle Lisa and that's like <laughs> all but I have been to France, to Paris, and I actually spoke French then, but now it's like I would not. E I could tell people my name, and then it 
nothing more. It became a little bit too dark up here, so I'm taking. I'm taking this color. I think it would be chamomile. Chamomile, but I think it's chamomile. Okay, I have butchered like the whole palette. And I will take it on a big fluffy brush and just try to fix this a little bit. And go over it. <laughs> and I took too much on the brush. So, this is the eyelids. So I will take... Um, the fallouts off. I will fix my face and then we will do something underneath the eyes but I think I'm going to be boring and take like middle karma or anything but then I want to take it in a corner highlight I'm pretty sure. So I will fix <laughs> the rest of my face. So the face is on and I have a cat drinking water. I don't know if you can hear her. It's like she always hates me when I'm filming and it's Every time it's the same cat. We have two cats and it's always Elsa. Um, I think she deep down hates us sometimes or that she thinks she's the boss of the whole household. She's a typical cat. If she doesn't want anything, she don't give a shit. So I think you will never going to see her because she doesn't want to be with me right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> So I am going to fix my under eyes and I don't know what I want to use. I think I maybe want to use... Or do I want some colors? No. Uh, I think we will take... I will take Middle Karma and I will take it on this brush. Now I think she's not so glad with me because I have things in the bed and I think she wants to be here. She's in the bed and she's messing with the studio lights. Okay, <laughs> I will take Middle Karma and take it on this little pencil brush from Colourpop. And you know that I hate to do this. I think Annette spoke... Uh, on this in one of her videos. When I'm doing my makeup it feels like I'm taking this so far down but then I look at the video and it's like not showing at all but in real life it feels like I am look like a little raccoon and Elsa okay I hope she doesn't disturb the world order and now I want to take this honey drip and put it in my inner corner. And this one I know it is, it's very crumbly and it's more like an eyeshadow topper. It's not uh, the same as the philosophy that's so easy to work with. But this honey drip is a little bit crumbly. So I'm going to spray my brush because I feel that honey drip is going to go everywhere if I don't and I always use a face mist that I don't like and I'm spraying my brushes so I don't waste my good shit and I usually don't spray I think you know that so okay I don't really know what's the meaning with this honey drop honey drip but it's not like a shadow, it's more like a topper because it's not have like any base on its own and I maybe should use my finger I don't know if you can see it but it is yeah the finger was the best I think this is better to like Put on some of your eyeshadows because it doesn't have base on its own and I think I need to take Middle Karma all the way in. Okay, I think we have to do it like this. I don't know if you even can see it. And I want to use some one of these. I don't know if this is going to be dark. This is 
Hanging Rock from Nabla and this is Blair, the one I always use. But I think we will try this Hanging Rock. This is red. I hate to do my upper lip and I hate to do the right side of my upper lip. It always turn out like shit. It's not even... It's not even Steven and it's not as I want it to be. Okay, I think we we'll live with this and this turned out pretty dark but I think I like it. So when I want some mascara, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I am finished and then I saw it. The mascara scare. So this is the second look with Nabla, Soul Blooming, I almost said Poison Garden. And I really like this look. Yeah, I I think it goes good. As you know, I'm not good with matching my lipstick with my eyes. Eye stick. <laughs> my lips with my eyeshadow. But I think this works good. I think I like this one. I have gone back to like more darker lips, I think. And this color is amazing. So this is the second look in my free looks one palette with the soul blooming. So this is the more neutral brown look. Maybe it's not so neutral anymore, but it's brown. So I hope you like this look. So it's time for the third look with my soul blooming. And I am going to do a blue look today. So I think I'm going to use three different colors. Um, Okay, and I will try this. Uh, a gnome, flowery and garden state. I think I'm only going to use this, these three colors, and uh, I will just get started. And I will start with this a gnome, and the moon, maybe. This is an Italian brand. And I do not speak Italian. Never have and. I guess I never will. So I'm going to start with this one and I will try to put this in my crease. And this is a really nice shade. See now it's... It's like blue and purple in some way. And I didn't have to take much of this color. It came a little bit too far in here. Because I want to have another color here in my inner crease. I think I am happy with this like that. I will also use a smaller brush and put it on the lid here. And this shade is freaking amazing. And it feels like it is more purple than blue. In real life, in the camera, it f I feel that it looks more blue. But this is very... I don't know how to describe it. I don't know, it's a very nice shade at least. Okay, this always looks so not good when I do this. I look same, same, some kind of crazy. Okay, and now I will take this flowery and I will take it on, yeah, with this brush. This is NYX 16. And this is a smaller blending brush. And hopefully it will be good in here. And I think it's working. Now I just want these two to blend together. Some kind of good and they are. Maybe something like this and then I want to take this. I think I want to take Garden State. Garden State or Honey Grip. But Honey Grip is 
more like a chopper. No, I will take, you, you see this, I will take this one, the Garden State. It looks amazing. I have to put it on my pants. I don't know how much color it is in this pants, how much eyeshadow, because I always do like that. I swatch something and then I wipe it off on my pants. Maybe that's not so good. So I will take this Garden State and I will try with no sticky base or... Okay, it's a little bit sticky but only with the brush and pack it on. And I don't feel... No, we need some glitter glue for this. And then I will put the glitter glue in here. I don't want too much. Glitter glue. And I take it up to the light blue in my crease. And also a little bit on darker blue. Something like that. And then I pack it on. Now I can't close my eyes because then I'm going to have glitter glue all over this shadow is amazing I think this would look great as maybe topper on another eyeshadow but I think if you use glitter glue it goes good with other colors as well, or uh, on its own, I am going to say. Okay, so I think I will take it a little bit over here and it looks fabulous. You even see what I am doing. Okay, so now the garden state is on both eyes. Just have to. And I will take away this fallout and I will fix my base and then we will put something under my eyes and also put on some mascara and eyebrows and stuff like that. So I will put on my base and then I will be back and we will finish this third look. So the face is on and I think I want to take something totally different on my lower lash. Totally different, not the blue one. And yeah, I think I will take the bolero. I used this in my in the first look. Uh, I did a pink look and then I used this. So I will take this in this look too because I don't want it to be only blue. Something like that. And this is the look without mascara. And I will put on some mascara and I will also put on a lipstick. And then the look is complete. So this is the finished look and the first third look with my soul blooming from Nabla and I really like this look too. I have started to like blue and purple a little bit more and yeah, I love this garden state shadow really really much. So my thoughts about this palette. One thing I like in palettes that I haven't talked about that much is I like when you can do like maybe because I have not the best creative mind but with this palette you can do a brown you have enough shadows to do a brown look you have enough shadows to do a pink look and also a blue look and I really like that because I think it's very versatile and it's easy to use for everybody I think and I really like that and I don't need all the colors to go together because or maybe all this color goes together but I really like that you can do one pink one blue and one brown look with the same palette and all looks good and you can also mix them up if you want to I think I will try with these 3 looks 1 palette if I can to make like 
like I did with my modern renaissance from Anastasia and also with this that I do three different looks with three different colors if you know what I mean I don't know if that's what you want to see or not of course I could have done a blue and a pink look as well together but I want to do three super different looks and I think it turned out good and I hope you liked it so I really like this palette and it's a good palette the mattes are so freaking good and these like philosophy garden state and honey drip I almost want to call them eyeshadow toppers you can work with them on their own with a sticky base like I did with garden state but they also look super good on top of another shadow it transformed the shadow so good and they don't have like a they have a base color but they don't they can go good with other shadows as well and now I already have a swatch here so I think they are both good as eyeshadow toppers I don't know you can't see them eyeshadow toppers but also on their own if you use a glitter glue um, just a little disclaimer this honey drip it's pretty chunky um, it's not a problem to work with it but it's pretty chunky so you have that in mind but the other like this one the name I can't pronounce philosophy climbing rose and garden state and also Gar Garrison um, it looks like this they are super easy to work with and this Garrison and Climbing Rose. Garrison, Climbing Rose and this one. They are like shimmers and Philosophy Garden State and Honey Drip are more like toppers. In my opinion. You can work with them but they are more as toppers. Toppers? Tops? Toppers? Eyeshadow toppers. So I really like this palette. If you like this color scheme. You can totally go for it. And they are... The mattes are not as good as their single matte shadows, but they are good matte shadows. So yeah, I really like this palette and as you know, I like the cardboard thing and I also like mirrors in palette. I don't have to have it, but I like it. So this was my free looks one palette and this was the Nabla Soul Blooming. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please press like and also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!